Hi, this is Paul Linton, the Tan Modeler Channel, in regards to my update on my Buddy Bill Switcher on the Mark IV female from World War I. Um, as you can see, it's had its base coat uh, of, uh, of the uh, colour I chose. What I'm going to say to you is, what I did is, uh, there's three colours involved in this, well, uh, three colours, yeah, definitely, um, to give it a tone. I'm not quite finished, I might do a bit of more uh, shading in certain areas, but uh, when you look at it visually, you can see t uh, different things. I'll try and get a top, bit more of a high, higher up view in a minute. So anyway, but what I did is um, I did a color. One color I did first was a color called uh, it's Vallejo. It's a seven one point zero three two. It's called Golden Brown, and I'll bring that in the picture and see if you can see it clearly. If I do that, you should get a nice focus shot there. There you go. That's the one. It's anyway. It says uh, Golden Brown zero three two of Model Air. Um, had a complete coat. Now it's quite a, a darker coat than what you can see now, and but I did that lightly smished it all over the vehicle in all the crooks and crannies I can get, and that solved that problem. So I gave it a dark overset. It was too dark. I knew that, but I'd already found out that by using um, khaki brown, which was uh, again another model air colour, and it's um, zero two four. Uh, they're all seven ones, obviously, but this is a zero two four khaki brown. I don't know if you see that there. That's the colour I use. And then that was another that was the base coat going over the vehicle. And some of the dark areas showed through still a little bit, which is okay. And then what I did is once that I'd done that, I with about a small bit of the cup left of uh, the khaki brown, I dropped a bit of uh, 001 white in, was there, which is model air again, mixed it in the in the actual spray cup. Um don't always do that, I normally use a palette, but I decided to do it in the cup. And just to bring the tone down slightly, now I don't know if you can see, but the, the, some of the panel lines have got a very slightly lighter colour. You might just be able to see, it's very finite, uh, not strong, but it's there. Um, whether, and I might do it a little bit more later on, I'm not sure, but I don't think I'll go too heavy on that. And what I did also, is if I can raise this up a bit higher, oops, sorry, I might have to tilt the camera down a bit more, sorry about this. I was going to stop the camera, I think it is. I think you might just be able to make out that the um, the slightly lighter panel areas uh, and on the rooftops of all these bits and pieces. I might have to give it a touch lighter just to give it to draw it out. But this is a colour I felt was the nearest to 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 the colour. And to be honest, uh, as you if you go and try and research the the colour used on, uh, on uh, World War One tanks, it's so problematic because the fact is no one's got a chip of the original colour and if you did dig one up now it could be so affected by the the environment it was in that the colour would be wrong so they do mention khaki brown from the factory at some point so I decided to go with the khaki brown in this and just lighten it down a shade in regards to a few panels I may do it again but I'm happy with what it looks like I've looked in some of the books and if I go into one or two of these books um, if I go into the part four book, I mean this is an artist impression of course and it's very very similarish to what they've done there if you can see what I mean so you know the shade's going to get a, a, a matte var uh, gloss varnish soon to, in place where I need it but you can see what I mean um, it's it's a very similar brand and no one can actually say pinpoint and there's another one and that's a female version actually there we go so I'm not too far away from it oh, that's slightly browner in the drawing but it does look browner once you look at it, but I might um, tone it up a bit, but I don't know, I'm still happy with the colour. So, And as I said, World War I, um, for the base colour of this vehicle, is a, is a bit problematic. So I thought the one in the, the Ming kit, it was going too brown. It was going more of a ready brown. So I went with this colour. And so there you go. So as far as God, the tracks are still done, done in the same bit. I haven't done anything to the tracks, so I'll just show you that that is. They're there still. They haven't made anything, any further progress on those. All the all the beam, because I wanted to do a bit to this. Um, if I stop it when it comes around, uh, I'll give it a bit longer. So it comes around. I am going to do the exhaust bits on the, the rust on the exhaust. So I'm going to do that. So if I can do it, where's, where's my button? Oh, there's my button on the side, just just out of view. So when it comes around. I'll show you a bit for longer. I'll lay the tracks over across to give you some sort of colour definition between the two. Here we go. So if I stop it now, there you go. And if I lay the tracks out, and as they're handed, it, it works out quite nice because of the actual browsers. But you can see what I mean. It's beginning to come on. 
Um, as I said, I might play with another brown over it, uh, lightly missed it as well, so I'm not sure. But it's getting there, so I'll just play that like that. There you go, whoops. There you go, it loads in. You can see it's looking looking apart already. So if I can go up a bit higher with this, I think I might be able to. No, I can't. No, I can't, so there you go. Anyway, put this. I won't put it back on, just going to put it back on. But uh, I think if I can lift this up, let's just turn it around slightly. You'll see, see we're getting the... We're getting to the point, if I can do that, there you go. We're getting to the point where, because, and that's what I've said about the tracks, I just like the colour. It is more of a naturally metally type of primary colour, so it looks nice. But it's got to be dry brushed with some from steel and put some soil and um, debris on, on the tracks as well, which I'll do later. So, that is my update. I don't know whether that's showing a bit more of the colours, but they are slightly lighter. It went up to the eye. It looks lighter than what it does on the camera. I've noticed that. But anyway, so that's my progress so far. As I said, I might play around with the brown a little bit, but not too much, because I'm obviously the more paint up, you've got the detail you lose. I haven't lost any detail as far as I can see at the moment. Everything's still there because the paint does go on nice and thin. So my only problem is um, fuel cans. I wanted to put a couple of fuel cans in the back. I'm going to put a make my own bed roll up to it and some boxes. And there are some places on. Uh, on the web that sell these uh, boxes, the actual boxes from World War, War One. So I'm look, looking around for that, and I know Acra Armour, I think, do some. Um, I'm going to have a look to see if they've got any, and see what I think they're made of resin, which is not my favourite um, substance to work with. But uh, there you go. And as you notice, I put the tracks on with a slight difference between, because I thought myself, although they look nice lined up with these um, the old uh, mud grousers. But I think it looks a bit old because the tank would never have them exactly right. They would once every now and then. Obviously, if your vehicle turns slightly and then they line up perfect, that's lovely. But uh, most of the time, you'll see them slightly off cam camper from each other anyway. Right. Um, that's the end of this uh, short update. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.